When I was 65, I had really big trouble in the bathroom. All I had for breakfast was a huge hamburger. But not long after, I ran and ran, and I sit down on my toilet to take a dump. Hanina, Hanina. And I sit there, waiting for the poop to come out. But it was absolutely stuck in my anus. Anyway, after a few hours of this, I said, this is a big waste of my time. And I get the toilet plunger. I stand up and stick it onto my butt. And I start pumping away like mad. And I try and I try to get that crap out. Ah, ah, ah. It's hurting but I'm not taking no for an answer. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Then I noticed the plunger was stuck to my bum. Great. So now I get the Michael Rosen lube. Ah. Uh, it was lovely. Anyway, I took the lube, and I rubbed it on my ass, and the plunger popped right off me. Okay, we're gonna do a little thing here. We're gonna rub, rubbing the microphone. Just picture, picture you're rubbing the lube on. The lube is going on, and the plunger, is just pop. Plunger pops right off. <sighs> okay. Wonderful. And then I noticed there was a great big chunk of poop stuck to the plunger. I smell it. Hmm. <sighs> nice. Anyway, I think I'll get toilet paper. I try to get the huge sloppy poop off the plunger, but it was sticky and my fingers went right through the toilet paper. So now I've got the Michael Rosen shite all over my knuckles. Meanwhile, my mother is at the bathroom door. My mom calls out, hello. Is everything good? I said, uh, uh, yeah, great. Everything's fantastic. Then she asked, do you want an apple? Mom, why the fuck would I want an apple? Will you go away? Okay, Michael, okay. So I try to wash off the plunger in the sink. Shh. Just picture that sink. Shh. We're washing off. But my doo doo was too sticky and it clogged the sink. I was an idiot. Meanwhile, I've got little dribbles of poop coming out of my butt all over the floor. So I start sliding on the shitey floor. Slam! Kaboom! Ow! I lay there with soggy lumps of doo-doo all over my hair and face. Oh no, this is horrible. Perhaps, I thought, when I got up this morning, I won't have to shove my face in a chunk of shit. But no, why should I get a break? 
Anyway, I start taking off all my clothes, and I get in the shower, and I'm just washing up. Then suddenly, Mum says, Right, Michael, that's enough. I'm coming in. Oh, no. Let's take a breather. Let's take a breather. Relax. Now I was really fucked. She opens the door, and then that really does it. Would you believe it, Michael? I don't believe it. I really don't. Do we take a dirty shit in the sink and fiddle diddle with the toilet plunger at 9.30? No, we don't. No, we don't. And why is your poop everywhere but the toilet? Ah, Mum, just wait a sec. I can explain. I was not fiddle diddling anything. Mum says, you can't fool me. Why do you have lube? Shit. I never felt quite so horrible in all my life. So that was that. I never saw Mum again. <laughs> Later that day, my poop turned into chocolate cake. Wonderful. So I ate the lot. Just picture eating, eating all that poop. Just eating all of it. And I had loads to eat. Even more, even more poop. Magically turn back into poop again. The Michael Rosen farty time. At school, my friend Hans let one rip, <laughs> and it was horrible. It smelt awful, like hundreds of rats had died. Our teacher started yelling at us. No farting. And so she started looking all around the class, trying to figure out who farted. No one knew but me.